Welcome back to Some Bold Adventure. I live in Michigan, the Mitten State, and I'm going to do some things, some tourist activities around where I live. Next up on the list of things to see is a World War II submarine. It's only about five miles from here. Boy, it's busy down here today. Alright, on the way here, I thought my camera was on and it wasn't. Hopefully it's working this time. And you can see a little bit of this beach. Now I have to watch here for cars backing out. It's all the beach parking in here, it's chaos. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm not going to enjoy the scenery much because I have to pay so much attention to traffic right now. Wow. It's gotten a lot busier since when I got here. Wow. I have arrived at the USS Silversides. I don't think my camera was on as I pulled in. I meant for it to be, and it wasn't. Looks awesome. So I'll get some pictures with it in a bit. I'm gonna go in and buy tickets. This is the USS Silversides Submarine Museum. And there is the USS Silversides. Fun fact, there are no propellers on the submarine because if there were, it would be considered a warship and we have a treaty with Canada that we will not have warships in the Great Lakes. There are no propellers on the submarine. Well, the Silver Sides here is a Gato class submarine. We have a Specs on it, limited to 48 hours underwater. 11,000 miles worth of fuel, 300 foot depth range. This is a submarine rescue chamber. Doesn't give you much confidence, does it? in here as well as the spot to launch the torpedoes and the torpedoes themselves so yeah you would get to sleep next to the torpedoes there's not a lot of space in here so 
to fold down the sink under the stairs. Chain system. So the crew members got showers every 13 to 15 days, two weeks before crew members could shower. Officers every three to five days. Mess cooks and baker got shower every day. Uh, in order to flush the head here, this toilet was a 12 step process. If you messed it up, it was bad. Look at all the things going on. Can I get through with my backpack on? Yeah. It's an old one. Barely. Barely. <laughs> Pantry. Pass things through. Up here is what this submarine did in World War II. Those are the ones she blew up. First War Patrol, Second War Patrol, Third, Fourth, we're up to 1943, Fifth, Seventh, no mention of the Sixth, maybe she didn't get any in the Sixth, Eighth, Ninth, ending in 1944, and a flamingo. Officer's quarters. Kind of a mirror. Sink. Two beds. That is tight. A little bit of storage. Ooh, somebody got a room to themselves here with a safe and a desk. It's a big safe. Three people in here. It is hard to get across how small this is. If I stand on one side, you can't really see it. I mean, there's only five or six inches maybe between the next bed. And if I turn sideways with my backpack, that's it. I fill the whole space. Three, no, four people sleeping in this one. But I suppose at least they uh, weren't sleeping on top of the torpedoes. Yeoman's office. Yeoman handled all the paperwork and files. Little private seat. Old typewriter. And another hatch. This torpedo loading seems like there's a bed and a modern box of some sort. Well, there. Yes, they're tackle. And one of those skids raise that up, lower the torpedo down onto the back half. Pour in so the two, pour the two four, 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 one four. extra for each two. So 24, yeah. So a full crew on the Silver Sides was 80 people. Eight officers, 72 crew members. They could go out with less, but that was a full crew. That is a lot of people for this base. It's amazing to me, though, how some of it is. Because there are people down there talking, and you can only just barely hear them once I walk through that hatch. And the hatch is open. Oh, we can only just barely hear them at all. There's a bunch of bunks. Crew's quarters. Much of the crew bunked. Accommodations for 36. Yeah, this is really tight quarters. Imagine being here for a long period of time. And this is all your space. Absolutely zero privacy. Side by side deal. <laughs> oh, shower. It's so tight in here, I keep 
getting stuck with my back pain. I'm not sure what's running, but something is definitely running. Torpedoes again, no more bunks. And also the way out. This is got rope on it. This is what I heard inside the rumble of boats going by? Could have been. Record sunk and damaged. White flags with a solid red dot indicate merchant vessels. Rising sun flags indicate warships. The two in a parachute denotes two pilots rescued. And the 16 and the black dot indicate 16 mines destroyed. Pretty cool, right? I hope you enjoyed this tour of the USS Silversides. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more adventures. Thanks for watching.